You know, the good news about this whole money thing is it's not rocket science. I was in a store the other night, in a restaurant the other night, and uh, um, that was by a store, I guess is the best way of saying it. But anyway, this guy walks up to me and says, you know, I really listen to your show, but you say the same thing over and over every day. How are you going to keep from shooting yourself after 25 years of doing that? I said, well, I don't have suicidal tendencies to start with, but um, <laughs> I like me enough to not do that. But I get his point. Uh, we do say the same thing over and over. That's because this is not rocket science. Principles don't change. The law of gravity doesn't change. It doesn't matter if you're a Republican or a Democrat. If you're a communist or a capitalist, the law of gravity still works. There are some principles that are the truth. Now, we live in a culture today that doesn't respect the truth much. Because when you say, oh, I know the truth, and they're saying, well, that's not my truth, as if you have a corner on the market or something. Because if you have your truth and I have my truth and they're not the same, one of them, by definition, is not the truth. Someone has to be wrong. And so, you know, this relativism crap that's floating around out there that some of you w waffle in all the time, it's screwing up your lives because, you know, you just you because you forget the law of gravity is independent of your opinion. There's just no exceptions to that rule. None. I mean, yes, you can you can battle back against it. You can sprout wings in a jet and fly away on it, but it still is going to take effect. There are physical laws, and there are spiritual laws, and there are mathematical laws, and they're called principles, and they're how life works. I mean, 100% of the time, if you keep spending more than you make, and more than you make would be including people giving you money or whatever else, if you put out more than you take in, 100% of the time, you're going to financially crash yourself. So why do we do that crap? I mean, why do we drive by a car lot and go, I can afford the payment. I'm so broke now, I can't breathe, but I can afford the payment. I think the toxic smell coming off the new plastic in the new car gives people brain damage. It, it, it does me. I actually like the smell. <laughs> I like a new car smell. <laughs> but, you know, it does. It causes you to not think anymore. I mean, if you're a drunk, why would you hang out in bars? If you're broke, why are you walking through the mall all the time and you call that entertainment? Do you think you're going to, you know, do you think you're going to, what, what is it, a spiritual test to see if you can walk through there and not buy something? So the good news is personal finance is 80% behavior. It's only 20% head knowledge. Because we know what to do. We just don't do it. We know we have to live on less than we make. We know we need to be saving for emergencies. We know we need to be saving for purchases so we don't go into debt to buy things. We know we need to be investing for the future, for our kids' college, and for our retirement. We already know these things. We know if we live on a written plan that the use of money is much more efficient, called a budget. We know that we will more likely achieve our goals when they're written down. It's called a budget. We know these things. Those of us that got any walking around sense at all, and that includes you and me, we know these things. To coin a phrase from the Founding Fathers, they appear to be self-evident. It doesn't require you know, rocket science to, to figure this out. You don't have to have a master's degree in mathematics to get the idea that you know, 18% on your credit card is stupid, and the only thing dumber is payday loans. And we get that 300 to 800% on a payday loan is stupid. And we walk in there and do those loans anyway. We know you have absolutely no chance of winning the lotto, and you buy the ticket anyway. None. You are 27 times more likely to be killed in a car wreck driving to the market one mile than to buy the winning ticket when you get there. That's how bad the statistical evidence is on it, which makes you mathematically challenged. Stupid. 
The lotto ticket is a, you know, it's a, it's a tax on people who can't do math. That haven't had any concept of probability in statistics. We know these things. The guy buying the ticket, yeah, I know I'm not going to win, but somebody's got to win. <laughs> Stupid people phrases. Somebody's got to win. <laughs> Stupid people phrases. Because you just wasted the money. You just wasted it. Why don't you give it to somebody if you're going to just give money? Why give it to somebody that needs it? Because the government doesn't need it. And that's who you're funding. And then they give some of it back to the public. And the public's like, ooh, did you see what the Powerball was? And it's all, you know, the little bubblehead man or woman on the TV news is like, ooh, did you see what the Powerball is? They're all excited, too. It's just they fall right in the same crap. So the good news is about this whole thing, it's not rocket science. If you don't have any payments, you have money. If you make an income and you don't have any payments, you have money. You have money to be generous with, money to save and invest, and you'll end up with more money. Isn't that interesting? And so that's what we do here every day. Live on less than you make, get on a budget, get out of debt, save for emergencies, for purchases, for long-term investing, retirement, and college. Always be incredibly generous. Those of us that are evangelical Christians, that starts at the minimum of a tithe, a tenth to our local church. Basic stuff, y'all. Being on a budget, being out of debt, living on less than you make. Oh, and there's a high correlation between people who build wealth and those who get along well with others. High correlation. Because most of your opportunities come through other people, not from your little brain. Some of you have a bigger little brain than others, but most everyone has a little brain in comparison to the opportunities that can be brought to you by contacts who feel positively about you. That's where life comes from. It's how it works, relationships. So we'll continue to say the same thing over and over every day. But the good news is we do it through the lens of your life and your personal story, which makes this show just downright entertaining. So we invite your calls, a toll-free at Nationwide at 888-825-5225. 888-825-5225.